hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Kayla and today we are styling some fall outfits hey guys welcome to the channel if you are new don't forget to pause and go down below I'm jumping right to it subscribe to the channel if you have not already a ton of you guys come and just watch and then leave which is totally fine if this is the only video you ever want to watch from me ever in your whole life but if you think you might like some other videos, please do go down below and hit the subscribe button. It means a whole lot to me and it lets me know that people are actually enjoying the content I'm creating. So today I want to style some fall outfits. Now this year, I think because of quarantine and everything else going on in the world, I feel like more and more people are just really hyped up for the fall, which is so freaking fantastic. Liking the fall has sort of become a trend. I myself have always loved the fall and the winter. They've always been my favorite seasons. They've always been the seasons where I've thrived and been the happiest. But you know what? If it took a trend for other people to land on the right conclusion that the fall and the winter are the bomb.com, then I am a happy camper. I absolutely love the fall and as such have an exorbitant amount of fall clothing. I'm just excited to style some of these outfits. I want to sort of focus this particular video on the transition from summer to fall. So they're going to be sort of lighter weight outfits, not the really heavy, thick fall to winter sort of in the midst of fall type of outfits, which I will do a video on that later in the season. But for now, because it is still August, I want to keep this to the light and the airy and not too hot side of fall outfits. So now without further ado, let us get into the video. Okay, outfit number one. So listen, as much as I love the cottagecore aesthetic, I also cannot deny the like trendy sort of adventure-y hipster version of myself too. I don't think you need to put yourself in a box. Something I myself have done for years and years and years and until probably this past year, just realizing that I'm allowed to like wearing punk rock clothing and cottagecore shabby chic clothing. So, Today I'm mixing two different styles together, kind of marrying this sort of more prairie farm vibe, but also trendy vibe. So this is just a really simple off the shoulder shirt dress. So the bodice part is shirred, and then this is just like a really lightweight cotton that is meant to mimic linen. So I thrifted this, but it was originally from Target. It's in a size medium. And I think this dress is just so freaking cute. I think that this is a fantastic color for the fall, just sort of like maroon. What's the other color I'm looking for? Burgundy. That is the one. Burgundy sort of color. And I think when we're transitioning from the summer to the fall, this sort of neckline works really well. It's going to keep you cool, give your shoulders some air, and then also it's a dress, so it's going to give you some air. Now this dress has a slit on the side that I'm pretty sure is not meant to be there. I think it's actually ripped because there isn't a slit on this side. However, I keep getting of like the slit, <laughs> so I might just leave it and clean it up at a later date. Um, I thrifted this maybe like a year or two ago, so it might be something that you might be able to find. I often find that a season later is when you find these types of dresses. For accessories, I think you're going to see really similar accessories throughout this whole video. Um, I'm just wearing a very simple necklace. A bunch of different gold toned rings. This ring right here has a red stone in it which I think is really really cute for fall and I also have a daisy ring on which I think again is really cute for fall. I know that daisies are kind of summery but even like daisies and sunflowers I think transition really nicely into the fall so I have that on. For my necklace this is just from Books a Million. Books a Million. It is a I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good necklace because I like dainty necklaces, but I also like to sport my personality and throw in a little bit of Harry Potter ness in pretty much every outfit that I can. Um, and then my earrings, which I'm so excited to talk to you guys about, are made by yours truly. I recently have been really amping it up on my Etsy shop making headbands and scrunchies and I just added some jewelry to the repertoire so I have some all metal jewelry. I have necklaces coming out in the fall but so far I have just gold and silver earrings listed and then I have some hair clips listed as well but for the fall I have an entire collection of clay earrings that I'm very 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 excited to be launching. I've worked so hard on them and made two of so many of them just to start because I myself love them so much I want a pair for myself. Here is one pair of earrings that um, I made. These are just little 
It's like this sort of orangey, rusty color that has a lovely shimmer to it. And they are just little maple leaves that are cut out and I freaking love them. So if you guys are interested, keep your eyes open. I have a Halloween collection and just a plain old fall collection coming out. So keep your eyes peeled. I am beyond stoked and throughout this video I will be sporting a ton of different stuff from the upcoming collections so I will be pointing them out and you guys can keep your eyes open for that. Check me out on Instagram which is where I announce everything either on my XOXO Glitterbug Instagram page which is my personal Instagram like the one where I do like normal me things or at my magically.kayla Instagram where I do all things Disney and Harry Potter. So you guys can check me out over on Instagram to keep up with what is going on with the Etsy shop. Anyway, so yeah, this is like a super simple but really fun, really cute outfit. And I liked pulling my hair back for this too because it, you know, showed a little more skin. But it also looks really put together and just casually sophisticated uh, outfit too. I think again... This is sort of playing with that like a cottage core with like the skirt and how floral and long and beautiful it is. And then like that sort of trendy girl, sort of like adventure-y, hipster type of vibe. I think this is kind of the style I've like landed in in this season of my life, which I'm very much loving but is subject to change because we're ever evolving. So for this outfit, I have on this skirt I thrifted as well. Um, this actually I had to alter. It was in maybe like a 2X or something and I ended up just moving all the buttons over and it fits like a glove now. I honestly don't wear it enough, but will be wearing it this fall for sure, probably like this. So for the top, I have this camel colored tank top that has a nice little peplum, it is cropped. I just bought this at Target like two weeks ago. So um, this should still be available. Um, I actually bought it in two colors, this and then like a really beautiful sort of mint green color. They also have it in black, which looking back, I wish I would have picked up a black one too. And I think it was only like $12 for this shirt. So not a bad price. And then I have these boots on. I got these at Walmart a year ago, I think. And I just don't wear them that often. And I think my feet have changed a lot in the last year um i wear heels more regularly now so i think i might be able to wear them again so i don't know i think they're cute and i really hope that i can find some space to wear these i am much more comfortable walking in them now i used to just stumble all over the place in them because this used to be like a really really high heel for me but i actually think Fingers crossed, I'll be able to wear them this season. For accessories, same rings, same necklace. I did switch out my earrings. I felt like the leaf earrings, while they are super cute for this outfit, I did feel like there's enough pattern going on and there is a little bit of like a blue marbling at the top of the leaf earring and I thought that it was just like the wrong vibe, if you know what I mean. So I swapped them out for a simple, very dainty, very cute stamped metal earring. These are also available on my shop. They're just this really cute gold earring that have K's stamped in them because my name is Kayla. And then I also have this fall scrunchie in my hair that has a little bow on it that I just put to the side. I actually quite like it to the side as opposed to like directly in the front. And again, available in my shop. These are not up yet. These are part of the fall line, but get yourself ready because I think they're very, very cute. So yeah, I think this is a really good summer to fall transition outfit. It is lightweight, not a ton of fabric, flowy, but also gives you like fall vibes from like the fall colors and the fall floral. This silhouette I thought was gonna not be that flattering, but it is. What is happening is because of where this skirt hits at like the perfect place at mid shin, and there's a tiny bit of gapping of skin between where the skirt ends and the boot starts, it's actually giving the illusion that my leg is a lot longer than it is. And then because you can't actually see the top of the skirt because it's covered by the shirt again, it's making me look like I am longer than I am, therefore taller than I am. And then because of how well fitted the skirt is and how like loose and flowy the top is, it's actually making it look like this shirt, which is already a little bit oversized, is even more oversized than it is because it's like bringing in the silhouette in the skirt and then just like very gently draping over and there is a, a little bit of space in between where this is sort of like floating off of my body, making a very flattering silhouette. Um, yes, this outfit it has so many things that I love about it. I'm living. Okay, first things first, I'm wearing my favorite boots. <laughs> These I got from Target years ago. I think maybe they're like five years old. They're my favorite boots on the face of the planet and I don't think they sell them anymore. So these are just really cute black suede shoes. Love them. 
these orange pants are new to my repertoire. They were originally from Primark. I got them on Poshmark for not that expensive at all. I literally went through and looked at every single pair of orange pants on Poshmark in my size until I found the cheapest ones that were also in a style I liked. And I ended up with these. I'm living. They're so freaking cute. They are a little tiny bit big. But honestly, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. There are little pockets here. Nice high-waisted, which is my love. These are a US size 14 and I actually fit a size 10, 12 better. So like I said, they're about a size too big, but luckily there's a drawstring. So with these pants, I'm wearing this yellow ribbed tank top that I got from Target. This has the Rugrats on it, which if you guys are a 2000s, 90s kid. So yeah, I have on this Rugrats shirt, which I live and breathe for. It is a little bit see-through as you can see, like the, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see in real life the lining of where the patch is, but I think it's just because of how light this yellow color is but I think that this works really nicely paired with a nice dark orange and also Chucky's hair is the color orange of these pants like that pumpkin orange color so I thought that they paired really well together and I think it's also a really nice way to transition summer into fall pairing sort of the more stereotypically fall colors with like a nice pastel which this shirt is like a pastel yellow. I also threw on over top a denim shirt. I rolled up the sleeves a few times. It's just a nice oversized denim shirt. I think fits really well, especially as like a sort of like cardigan type of situation. I think that denim shirts are super popular in the summer and the fall. So again, I think making this like a short sleeve denim shirt is a really nice way to transition from summer to the fall. I also paired with it my favorite hat of all time ever. I got this from Nasty Gal, which I've heard some interesting things about Nasty Gal in the last few weeks. I bought this years ago. I don't know if they were owned by Boohoo when I bought this, but just do some research on Nasty Gal if you guys are thinking about purchasing from them. That is not a brand I purchase from anymore. Just, you know, do your research, know who you're supporting. Um, and then, again, same jewelry except for my earrings. I'm wearing probably, arguably, my favorite earrings that I've made for my fall collection which are these really beautiful teal ones with this sort of rust orange flower with a navy blue center and I'm living. I'm so obsessed with these earrings and this outfit is my everything. I've never, like I'm obsessed. I don't know, the amount of joy I am feeling from this outfit is next level. Okay, so I think this is one of those moments that highlights that I have a very eccentric style. So um, for this outfit, First things first, I have on this cute little corset top that I thrifted on Poshmark. Now, sadly, it is a little bit big. This is like brought in all the way and I did get it in a size 14 thinking that corset tops were gonna be made smaller, but I guess that's not necessarily the case. I needed this in at maybe even a 10. This is from the brand New York & Co, which I didn't even know they made corset tops. This definitely looks super vintage, it's very cute. I absolutely love it. I love the print, I love the pattern, I love the ribboning detail. I think it's very cute. It is slightly too small, but I think that's nothing a little bit of, you know, nipping and tucking can't do to the shirt if I just tailor it a little bit. I'm not too, too worried about that, but for now, it's fitting like this and we're living with it, we're dealing. So this is just a really beautiful cream colored shirt with, I think, a really underrated color for the fall, which is purple, particularly dark purples. I think lavenders are great for the spring and summer. I think dark purple is a color we find very often in nature, and I think it should be worn more frequently in the fall. Paired with these black ribbed walking lint rollers of a pair of pants from Wild and Fable at Target. So these are the most comfortable pants I own. They are black, they are ribbed, they are stretchy, they are just super soft and really comfortable, but they truly do, and I'm sure there's lint on me somewhere. Yeah, here we go. They track everything. These are the type of pants that are not going to be low maintenance. They're the kind of pants that you need to bring a freaking lint roller with you everywhere. I literally had to borrow my brother's just to show you guys these. With it, I am wearing the same black booties that I live and breathe for. And then for all those days that are a little bit chillier, check on the sweater. I'm a big fan of mixing prints, and I think that this is a fun juxtaposition between something that's very dainty and beautiful and delicate, and something that's a bit more clunky and whimsical and outside of the box. So 
just this really beautiful floral print and then this fox face print they have similar color tones they're in the same color family so I wanted to pair the two together I also have on these earrings these ones are not actually made by me they're made by my friend Kelly Jane I talk about her earrings all the time on the channel but as usual I will leave it linked down below she is the creator and artist behind Beowulf earrings and um, I own so many of her earrings because they're just so high quality and so beautiful so I will leave her shop linked down below along with my own. I think that keeping the hair simple for this outfit made a lot of sense. I think that this is a really cute, simple way to just style your hair, pull it back, it gets it out of your face, really highlights like the openness of like your clavicle area because of the square neckline and your hair is out of your way and I just think it's super cute. And this to me is like, if you guys watched last week's video, I talked about how I don't feel super comfortable wearing like sexy outfits. This to me, feels super sexy if I were to take the cardigan off. So yeah, this is for sure like my version of like a sexy outfit. This is the last outfit for the video and I wanted to end this with like a super cute casual sort of simple outfit but like adding a little bit of personal style to a simple outfit. So I took this Harry Potter shirt that I got from Polka Dot and Pixie Shop which is a small business. I will leave her shop link down below too. This shirt is so cute. It just says pumpkins, potions, pelagius, and potter. So as y'all know, I am a massive Harry Potter fan. Now I am typically a size large. Could have gone down to a medium in this, so just something to keep in mind. This is a female styled shirt, so just something to keep in mind. You can probably size down because I do think that this is an oversized fit. So with this outfit, I just chucked on this really, really lovely mock neck with a lettuce leaf trim, mustard yellow top. This shirt is from Target, I do believe, a few years ago now. And honestly, I wish I would have bought this in more colors. This is a staple shirt for me. I wear it every single fall and I just think it's super cute on its own or super cute layered underneath things. I'm a big fan of collars, of mock necks and embroidered like Peter Pan collars and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of so um, I really do like this is like just sticking out a little bit adding that little Victorian flair. Paired with that I have on again my Mischief Manage necklace. I have on these blue jeans. Um, I debated between blue and black jeans and I decided that I wanted to play and add a little bit more color, a little bit more brightness to the outfit. So I went with a nice fitting pair of blue jeans. These have a nice fade in the middle, which I think is actually super flattering for my body type. It makes me feel super confident and it sort of like streamlines my legs. I added a cup at the bottom again because it makes me look a little bit longer and also it's just a style preference. I happen to really like how cuffs and everything looks. Obviously I cuffed my sleeves on my shirt and then I cuffed the jeans. These are from Old Navy and they're in a size 12 and they fit pretty true to size. I also checked on this black belt to just sort of tie in the bottom and top half of the outfit. I threw on these white Adidas mom shoes that I got on Poshmark. These are my favorite shoes at the moment. They're Adidas X Neo. Same jewelry, again, just switched out my earrings. These I just thought were super cute because they really play on the pumpkin parts of the shirt. They are made by me. These will be part of my fall collection as well. They are just yellow with little pumpkins on them with like little green vines for the pumpkin patch. And I just thought they were super cute. They're like little half moons. And I also threw on this scrunchie. This I bought at H&M in a train station. <laughs> Last year, last summer, I went to DC with my best friend Josh, and they had a H&M in the train station in DC. And I just bought the scrunchie, and I thought that it looked cute because the orange in the scrunchie ties in really nicely with the orange of the shirt, and then the navy blue. It's not actually black; it's navy blue, and the writing on my shirt is black. But I thought that the navy blue tied in really nicely with the denim of the jeans. So yeah. This is this look. I think it's a really nice casual look. And again, I think layering and cupping things is a really nice way to add a little bit of personal flair um, on top of, of course, like the content of the shirt adds some personal flair. But yeah, so this is the last outfit for today's video. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Um, it is totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos, which is every single Monday, unless I have a crazy weekend. Like I said earlier, then they go up on Wednesday. I make fashion related content, like fashion challenge videos, styling videos, thrifting videos, thrift with me, 
hauls, all the good stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are excited for for the fall. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and my friend Kelly Jane's Etsy shops. They'll be linked down below. Love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be nice to one another. Also, if you live in the United States and you have not yet, please register to vote. The link is down below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.